and welcome back to Reno's Barbecue. This will be our fireside chat for the evening. I'm not really sure what I want to talk about. It's not like I've got any requests here. I haven't reached my thousand subscribers. That's my goal. You can go ahead and follow us on Patreon, Twitter. I have a GoFundMe account. Uh, you can follow us there. Check out our barbecue videos. I'm trying to get us a barbecue sauce line opened up. That's what the GoFundMe is about. Uh, obviously, I'm right here on YouTube. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Instagram. I don't know why. Uh, might think about getting that set up, but this here is supposed to be our fireside chat tonight. And any other circumstances, I guess I'd be talking about a whole lot of stuff. I guess that's why I'm trying to push people over to uh, some other things. Uh, maybe some Patreon or something like that. Get some behind the scenes and other in the details type of things. And I gotta tell you, I'm not real sure if I'm I'm not really sure what to think about this world today. One of the things I've been seeing lately is this kind of got me up and kind of confused, kind of angry, a little upset. Not really sure if I like some of the well, just some of the things that's going around. And I know I'm not the only one, so I'm going to leave that at that, and I'd love to pour my heart on that, but check me out on Patreon to find that one out. Um, I don't have anything uploaded there, I don't have any patrons there, so I guess once I get get a few going, going there, um, Maybe I can work towards that. Maybe I need to get a thousand subscribers here before I. So help me out. But, anyways, I'm, I'm digressing. Let me move on. What'd y'all think about tonight's dinner? I'd like to have uh, those uh, fruit stuffed barbecue bacon wrapped chicken. What'd y'all think about that? And if you've seen the videos, if you haven't seen the videos, go back and watch them. And leave me a comment on those videos or this video here. And watch my other ones. I got some ribs and some stuffed peppers and I got plenty of more stuff coming. Uh, we'll probably end up we'll probably end up going to go tour check out some other barbecue places here pretty soon. You'll be able to check that out. Do some cool stuff there. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. Um, excuse me. We're just sitting back having a little chit chat. No, uh, so I thought I'd bring my beer with me. Uh, I might actually put this. Yeah, I might actually put this into a little bit of a pause. Uh, no, I'll probably keep it going. <laughs> Man, the world's getting tough out there. And I'm just saying, the world's getting tough. It's getting tough for everybody. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening. Yeah, we're going to get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. Well, I'm going to tell you. You're going to have to see me on Patreon for that one. And I don't know if I can do that on, on this here. I'm just going to leave it at that. Brighter news. Brighter news. You can always make it better. You can always make things better. How? Change. 
Change yourself. Change your community. Help your community. Don't tear it down. Think about what you can do for others. What you can do for others in your community. And what you can do to make change in yourself and in your community. Because that's what it's going to take. To be honest with you. Like I said in my other video, I mean, life is a contact sport. Business is a contact sport. All these uh, people out here doing things that they shouldn't be doing, oh, they're playing a contact sport too. They're just playing it a little different. I don't suggest playing that way. I suggest playing on another path. Way over here. The path that says that we're going to do things differently. We're going to make our community better, cleaner, safer, more profitable, more jobs, better economy. That's what I suggest. And only you. Only you. All of you out there watching. All of you out there listening, only you can make the difference. Are you on this side or are you on this side? What side you're on makes a big difference. One side or the other really lets you know who you are. Because to be on one of those, either of those sides, destructive path, constructive path, there's a difference. One, you're destructing, two, you're constructing. Tearing things down, you're building things up. What do you want to do? You want to tear it down, break it apart, throw it away, trash it? Is it not worth saving? Or do you want to build it up? Make it better? Make it more... Uh, a habitable place to... to... to, to thrive. To, to... to want to be in. To want to live in it. Comfortable. I mean, me personally, I want to be somewhere comfortable. I don't want to be in a bunch of destruction chaos and you know all that stuff that's going on uh, it, it's everywhere from what I'm saying man yeah I'm not gonna get into some of that uh, I got my cerveza right here and it ain't that cerveza I'm talking about This here would be a different cerveza, but yeah, you got that cerveza thing going around too. They call it that. Uh, man, that's a that's a good beer too. I can't believe they called it. I can't believe they called it that Corona beer. Yeah, that Corona beer is pretty. It was a good beer. I can't believe they called that thing Corona. Yeah, that Corona thing. That has been rolling around for a year and a half now. You know, the funny thing is, is they say if you get some, uh, you know, I got one of those uh, injection needles for my meats. You know, I like to put a lot of juices in them and barbecue sauces and different flavored fruit juices. Makes my meat tender and gives it a nice good flavor. And it comes out delicious. And I can't believe they, they could pretty much want to do that to, to people. They just want to put stuff in your body. Stuff that's, um, yeah, <coughs> I wouldn't really consider it the, the best stuff in the world. I mean, it's pretty much, you know, I, I can't believe that they had 
all those Texans from, well, I guess one party or another, they hopped on a plane and, you know, I guess they took a pack of Corona beer with them because they all ended up with some uh, Cerveza Corona uh, stuff. And they all ended up with, uh, I guess, a little bit of meat injection in them before they ended up with that Corona uh, Cerveza stuff. So I'm not really understanding how if you get pumped full of cyanide or Drano or whatever they're calling it, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on, you know. It's just strange stuff, you know. I don't understand how they ended up with a bunch of, you know. You know, they, they all say they were, um, they were good to go. And on the, on the other hand, you got other people saying, well, if you get that, if you get that, that stuff put in your body, well, then you don't have nothing to worry about when it comes down to Corona Cerveza. I don't understand how it is that six of them ended up with that uh, Corona Cerveza after, after being, uh, after they were supposed to be good to go. Even though they all packed up on the plane, I don't know. <coughs> it's just, you know, I'm trying to figure out. And then we got the, we're gonna hold, we're gonna watch for misinformation. I'm trying to figure out who's, who's actually pushing the misinformation, a lot of this misinformation. You know, they might like to say that I'm trying to push misinformation. I ain't trying to push no misinformation. I'm asking questions. What do y'all think? Leave comments below. Let me know because Stuff's getting weird, man. You know, they they tell you you get you know, you do certain things. Certain things are gonna not happen, but that's not true because people have done certain things and things still happen. So, where's the misinformation? Kind of leads you to believe that something's wrong. It's kind of strange strange world out there. I don't know. They, you know, these, everything here is just opinionated. I mean, really, I ain't even putting any opinions. I'm more or less asking questions. It's like, I don't even know. It's pretty strange stuff. Um, if you really want my opinion, i click on the Patreon and get some fine details on that one. I can go into some bigger details on that one, but if you like what I'm saying, if you don't, eh, let me know why. Let me know why you disagree. <laughs> You'll probably be one of the haters that tells me I'm disinformation. <laughs> and I'm not even giving any information. This is just fireside chat. I'm just sitting here chit-chatting to myself on video. <laughs> well, everybody's going to think it's something. Man, I'm talking about jumping in a pool. In the middle of the summertime, just a bunch of chlorine going in the body, a bunch of fluorides, a bunch of chemicals. And then they say when you do it out of that pool, you ain't ever gonna get sick. No, that's all I'm saying. Jump in that pool, you never get sick. Never understood it, because seems like a lot of people jumped in that pool. And it seems like right after they got out, first thing they did was get sick. Where's the misinformation? That's all I'm saying. I mean, if it's broad news, I mean, it's out and about. No, you can't spread it. I'm not spreading it. It's not like you haven't heard it before. You're just hearing it from a different personality. That's all it is. Like I said, it's just fireside chat. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. If any of y'all seen that new uh, 
Dodge Challenger pickup truck concept. That was kind of cool. If you seen that, leave some, leave a chat down below and let me know what you think of that. Maybe I can, we can get together and talk about that a little bit more. But I thought it was kind of cool. I came up with that idea years ago. Years ago, I sat down and drew it on paper and everything. I think I still have a copy of it. I'll have to post it. But that was. I think I even put down the year that I actually drew it on my on the drawing. I think I still I think I still might have that drawing. I found it pretty interesting that concept. I don't know if y'all seen that. Well, I'm sure y'all heard. The richest man on the planet probably ships y'all's packages to you. Decided he was going to take a trip. Little vacation. Went and go. I guess he spent like nine or ten minutes or something like that up in uh, up there. I don't know. Makes you wonder though, because uh, there was another one that did it right before that guy. Oh, I think it was the guy that owns Virgin Mobile or owned Virgin Mobile or something, Rob Johnson or something. I, mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't keep up. I don't keep up with any of those big hotshot guys. Jeff Bezos. I mean, I know that guy. He ships my packages to me. Well, not to me. I don't order from the guy, but my old lady does. Um, I know a lot of people that order from him. And, that other guy is, you know, he, I think he owns Virgin Mobile is what I want to, what I want to say, but I could be wrong. He went up before this last one. And Bezos just, he had to go just a few feet higher than the first guy that launched off with what looked like three airplanes attached to each other, which was, I thought was a cool aircraft, by the way. I... That was an awesome aircraft. Actually took off like an aircraft. Went up, kind of watched it. The other one just looked like it was just a rocket. Just went in. And it was kind of cool. Because it kind of reminded me of a lot of things. But one that actually kind of stood out to me, I guess, individually, was it reminded me of one of those childhood rockets that you you know, you buy at Walmart. Those little ones, you know. And you, you know, you have the little power packs you put in them, and they flame up at the bottom and shoot up real high in the air. And then the rocket man would come out with a parachute. <sighs> Floating down. Well, that last launch is kind of what that reminded me of because he shot up, disconnected, and the whole capsule just parachuted down to the ground. <laughs> So I thought that was actually a pretty cool launch. It was pretty unique, even though I liked the first one with the with the other guy with the, the, the triple plane looking deal. It kind of actually took off like a plane versus the straight up rocket. But the straight up rocket was pretty cool. And then the way it came down, like I said, it reminded me of the Walmart, Target, you know, big box store back in the day. Uh, you know, when I was younger, we'd, we'd buy rockets, you know, cardboard, round tube, big old little plastic needle shoot fins on the bottom. Had to put the power packs in them, light them up like a firecracker kind of, or an electrode, and push the switch, but it's kind of like a firecracker. Lights out flames like a fire, and then it just goes straight up in there. <laughs> And then it comes down with a parachute. And that's kind of like what, what, what that last one did. Big old box, the, this big shipping guy did. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, I don't know why he, but it makes me, it makes, but it, it, it begs the question. Just more strange stuff in the world. You think they're trying to see if the, the earth is flat? <laughs> I'm not trying to get into flat earth story. I'm asking. You think they're literally trying to find out for themselves that the Earth is actually flat? Who knows? Who knows if they even went high enough? I mean, I'm sure if the Earth is round, 
from space. It could be round, just like the light bar that I have behind my phone here is round, but it's flat and hollow. But I could see it three dimensional. You shoot it into the, you know, rocket into space. If the Earth is spinning, when it comes down, of course it's not going to land in the same spot. But it's not going to take off in a direction that's going to allow. And when it floats down, it's not, you know. But the Earth actually moved as fast as they say it did. I don't know. I can get into that. I'm not a flat earther. I'm just, you know, logically thinking. The day, the day actually go up, and uh, maybe, maybe it was because they were thinking it was. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they just wanted to get a feel for what it would be like to be an astronaut without having to be in space for, you know, six months to a year. or you know, for a long time. But, you know, let's, let's think back to when we first went into space. Primitive technology. Let's think about when we went to the moon. NASA, supposedly. Primitive. Primitive technology. And somehow they managed to air that back to Earth when cell phones didn't exist, computers barely existed. I don't know. Pretty strange how they went just right to the edge of the hemisphere, just to where they can have enough gravity still fall. Even though they were anti-gravity floating in that ship, they had just enough gravity where they could sit there and float for a little while until they fell back. Kind of makes me question. Makes me question a lot of things about NASA. I don't know. Just saying, you know, ask questions. If you don't ask questions, you won't get an answer. When you ask questions, you might still not get an answer, because who knows? But that was kind of cool, though. I still like that. I mean, I think that was kind of cool. Uh, there's a lot of fuss out there. You know, they could have spent their money better. They could have done everything. They could have done this. They could have done that. Yeah, I'm sure. I could care less. It's their money. <laughs> I mean, you know, rich kids with the, you know, what separates the men and the boys is the size of their toys. <laughs> I'm not calling them men because they got big toys. I'm just saying. I mean, they got big pockets, obviously. They can afford rockets. Let them have fun. I guess that's the way I see it. It was interesting to watch. Nonetheless, there's a lot of other things, you know. Guys wearing makeup and calling themselves girls these days. Nothing wrong with it, I mean, you know. Nothing wrong with it. Except, you know, it, it's, it, it's, you know, it's kind of a mental mental problem I see it. I mean it it's complete denial. It's complete unacceptance of their own being is the way I see it. I mean, uh like I don't care. I mean, you know, you want you you know like you know, you see an autism person, it's like why is that guy you know, why is that person woman guy, it doesn't matter. Refrigerator. Why is it acting funny? Who knows? You know, no, no matter what the problem is, mental issue, autism, or, you know, 
that, that's that's their case. That's their problem. That's their prerogative. Uh, but when they try to push it on our kids, that's kind of like saying, I want a mentally challenged individual teaching my kids how to be a success. Nothing against mentally challenged people. But, you know, I, I guess the point is, you know, I mean, you, you, would, you would think you'd want your children taught by the brightest, not the dumbest. And I'm not calling mentally challenged dumb, because I know a lot of smart ones. That I wouldn't have my kid have no problem with my kid learning from that individual. It, Basically, it's pretty much saying you want a methed out, crackhead individual teaching your kid success. I guess is more or less what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to bring it on, but you know, it, it's basically I'm probably gonna get in trouble for me saying what I'm saying. Uh, I save trouble. Don't get stuck in the social media jail or something. I don't know. But, I don't know, that's just strange. You know, I don't have an opinion, it's just fireside chatting, you know? I don't know, it's kind of strange to me. And then, I'm, I'm from Texas, born and raised, pretty much, raised in Texas my whole life. Grew up in Texas. My son was born in Texas. I love Texas. Man, I can't believe what they're doing down here. Just on that one board. Man, I was listening to a popular television show. And, uh, man, I gotta tell you. There was a, a mayor of one of the towns down there that was on that show and said 1.2 million illegal. Ill, un, legal, not legal. Individuals. Individuals. Coming in from that board. And they say it's a 900 percent. Yeah, 900 percent increase positivity. That like Corona. They're bringing them cases of Corona. Cerveza with them. And they ain't even checking. Oh yeah, not to mention the fentanyl and the drugs, cocaines and the fentanyl. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of drug addicts out there who probably love that stuff. They're like, man, the fentanyl, man. Fentanyl is the worst crap on the planet. Uh, I drink my alcohol, don't get me wrong. I'll drink me a beer. I'm doing it right now. Ain't nothing wrong with beer. Unless you go a problem with it. But that's the problem with a lot of these drugs. People have a problem with it. And you know, they just letting it happen. They fly them more and they give them money and put them up in fancy hotels. Free rides. In the meantime, there's American businesses that are shutting down all over this country. American businesses are going out of business forever. They ain't coming back. Done. Past year and a half, put them out. Got, uh, got people that, you know, got people that are stuck out of work. 
Some have just decided they're not going back to work. Figure that one out. Most strange stuff, and I ain't telling you nothing you ain't heard. I'm trying to mention names, but it's just a lot of stuff. Yo, folks, I mean, I'm trying to be nice here. And, uh, No, government says they're going to start looking into your texts and your emails. How y'all feel about that? Got nothing to hide. Shouldn't worry too much, right? So they plant something on you and if they can look at your emails, they can plant it in your emails. They can look at your text, they can plant it in your text. Figure that one out. Well, that's a conspiracy. I don't know. I hope it's just a theory. <laughs> I don't know. Some think on them. I mean, I figured out. Because, uh,. A lot of strange stuff. A lot of strange stuff. What do y'all think about those uh, individuals that... Uh, hold on. <laughs> 